Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am bringing to you a rooster painting and this is a very very loose painting of a rooster using oils on a canvas and I had I had fun making this painting. I haven't had fun painting in a while and today I kind of wanted to talk about my hardships as an artist and this is kind of a wake-up call to myself i kind of want to make this video so that i can watch it and try to work on being a better artist and presenting myself in a better way on social media becoming more social so the first reason why i'm having a lot of hardship is because i'm unable to connect I have no friends. I'm terrible at keeping friends. Ever since I was in high school, I was a loner, basically. I had only one friend that I used to hang around. And even then, I would sleep all day in class. Uh, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not very social. And when you're an artist, you need to connect with people. You need to mingle. You need to connect with your audience. You need to you know, comment back and just keep up with your fans. And it's really hard for me to communicate with people and and just be able to connect because I'm just, I'm used to being alone. I'm used to being at home with my pets, my plants. Um, and I feel very awkward. I've always felt awkward in public and I mean, that's okay. I know I'm sort of awkward. I I just need to learn to open up and be kinder to people. And just learn how to keep friends and keep up with them and go out and have fun and mingle for once. Uh, my second thing that really hurts me as an artist is I'm not really big on social media. I mean, I do post every once in a while, but when you're an artist and you're trying to sell your work, you have to post all the time because artists post every day. Some, well, at least the most successful artists on Instagram post almost every day and they have thousands of followers and they sell their work consistently. So, that's definitely something that I have to strive for. I have to learn to sacrifice time and sleep on my art if I want to, you know, make this something something serious. I need to treat it like it's a job. I can't I can't treat it like it's a hobby. I mean, I do work a full time and I come home exhausted from travel. And I just need to learn that until I reach my goal as an artist, I have to sacrifice the time to become one. So I just need to get off my ass. <laughs> In other words, I needed to start posting consistently. I need to start making YouTube videos every week. I need to post a blog I, I need to post on Facebook any updates on my drawings, on my paintings, anything. And I, I need to just draw every day. I remember when I was younger, I used to draw all the time, spend hours just drawing dolls and, and you know, outfits. And I just got lost in art and somehow growing up and viewing it as a career has made it less less like it used to be and i'm sure a lot of other artists kind of see it this way you know when you're younger you can you have like tunnel vision you just focus on your hobby and you're there for hours and days and you learn all about it uh, I just, I miss that about myself, you know, I miss loving 
art. I miss drawing every day. I miss being creative every day. And yeah, I'm kind of getting emotional about that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just I just need to get out there and not worry about criticism and kind of take it as something to improve in my art instead of a hate comment. And I know that a lot of people just post hate comments just to be trolls, but you know, it's kind of hard to ignore them. Uh Another issue I have an art as an artist is I I have pretty low self-esteem when it comes to my work. I don't treat it like it's the best thing that's ever been made. And when you're an artist, you have to treat your art like it's the best. You have to market it, market your your piece as if it's the best painting out there. Because you painted it. Uh, and I just need to work on just giving value to my work, my time, uh, my skills. I need to learn to be proud of how far I've come in art and what I've achieved. And I know a lot of people feel the same way. They're afraid to show their work they're shy about it uh, I'm right there with you uh, there's tons of work that I've done that I haven't posted on social media and I probably won't because I feel bad about it uh, and I don't want to post a, a shit ton and piss people off and have them unfollow me um, but I just need to be more confident and that goes with a lot of things in my life. I need to get out there. You know, this goes back to building friendships. I need to be more confident in myself. I need to stop being shy. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it, I'm not saying it's not okay to be shy, but sometimes, sometimes you need to step out of the shadow, you know? <sighs> The next thing that I struggle with is pricing my work. I, since I don't, since I have to learn how to value my work, I have trouble pricing my work, especially with friends and family. I feel like I don't deserve to be paid. Well, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I just, I feel afraid to ask for more money and you know I really shouldn't because painting takes time it takes effort uh, hours of your day and I really shouldn't let people take advantage of that so I am going to try to focus on improving in that way because I really do need money and I mean, this is a business. I have to make some kind of a profit. Uh, I am an artist. I am not, you know, I'm not your friend that just draws you a tattoo for free. Um, I'm trying to make this, you know, a living. I want to become an artist. I'm, I'm already an artist, but I want to be a working artist. So another thing that I have trouble with is consistency, which kind of goes back to like social media and posting, but I also have a problem with creating art constantly. I have to focus on working on art every day, no matter what. This has to be my job. I have to focus on drawing, on on just spending the time to create an entire body of work so that people have options and kind of connect my artwork with me 
as an artist. I have to find my style. I feel that I am slacking as an artist compared to many others. And that's another issue too, is comparing myself to other artists. And I have to stop following other artists. Um, well, not following, but looking and comparing and in a negative way. Uh, there's other ways to compare your work and be positive about it. But I am a very negative person and I need to stop pitying myself. I need to stop thinking that my work isn't good enough to show. I need to learn to appreciate other people's artwork and start comparing it, stop comparing it to mine in a negative way. Um, And I need to kind of hone my work. I need to find that specific style and paint consistently. Just, you know, pop out paintings like crazy. Um, You know, like make collections, make just, you know, tunnel vision. I need to stop relying on spurts of creativity and push myself. And that takes a while to do. I mean, some people it's it's pretty natural. They they're they're they have so much creativity that they can draw every day and it, you know, not everything's going to come out amazing, but at least they try. And I have to do that. I have to draw. I have to practice. So that one day I could be even 10 times better than I am today and look back on these moments and smile. I just, I really need to focus. And I really need to just spend some quiet time and make the room, my art room, a little bit more inviting so that I want to draw. The next thing that's really hurting me as an artist is energy. I have no energy and I need to start eating better and exercising. And that needs to start now, you know. So, that's it. That's the video and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, Come back, uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll make some more videos soon. So thank you for watching. And if you made it this far, thank you for listening to me, bitch. Um, Have a nice day. Bye.